Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we feature a luxury shipping container house, the PV14 house in Dallas, Texas, United States. Stay tuned as we give you a tour of this amazing shipping container house. Good, welcome back. If this is the first time you are watching a video from our YouTube channel, you are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for amazing weekly videos on design ideas from shipping containers. Don't forget to click on the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. So without further ado, let's get started. The PV14 house is a two-story single family residence built using 14 shipping containers to create approximately 3,700 square feet of habitable space. The house comprises of entertainment space on the ground floor level, living areas on the first floor, and a small penthouse access to the rooftop deck. The three-bedroom home, dubbed PV14, boasts a 40-foot long swimming pool on the ground floor that reflects the two-story glass panel tower. This impressive house doesn't appear like it was built using shipping containers. The primary goal for this house was to design and build a modern residence that has a unique character that responds to its specific location orientation and also employs the construction technologies that are readily available but not often used in current residential construction. In this regard, shipping containers were a good fit for this description. With the site both highly elevated and with its long axis aligned directly with the city street grid, the house was oriented to take advantage of the outstanding views across the lake, over the trees, and also to the city. The site is on the highest elevation of the city of Dallas and is approximately 100 feet above the surface of the White Rock Lake, which is only about a thousand feet away to the southwest. The primary living areas were elevated on the first floor level to take advantage of the views and to separate them from the street traffic activity below. The salient features of the living areas include an open plan living room which consists of a nice spacious lounge, uh, a cozy dining space and a modern kitchen fitted with modern appliances and nice countertops. In addition, there are three bedrooms a den, three and a half bathrooms on the same level. The ground floor level is mainly used as an entertainment area which also has a two-car garage and a storage bay. The house can be accessed directly into the foyer from the main entrance or from the port cocher located on the ground floor on the left-hand side of the house. Extensive use of overhangs and porches, shields, windows, and other fenestrations from direct radiation, hence reducing energy costs to run the house, while concurrently capturing natural light and not obstructing the outstanding views across the lake, over the trees, and also across to the city. Apart from its panoramic views, the roof deck above serves as a solar screen to insulate the single ply membrane roof below, which reduces energy costs and simultaneously helping to extend the life of the shipping container roof itself. One of the most striking uses of the containers is the two story glass panel tower that overlooks and mirrors the shape of the house along. A slim pool which carries the tower's reflection. From the outset, the house was intended to express those things from which it is built, with the concrete floors, exposed steel, and the pre manufactured steel of shipping containers plus masonry and glass were used as primary building 
elements. The building architect wanted to stay true to the materials and thus the ceilings have been left exposed to show the container roof corrugations and the original shipping container cargo doors remain unpainted and have been converted into bedroom doors. The ground floor level is dedicated to entertainment functions. Polished cement was used to finish the ground floor level to correspond to the sleek steel of shipping containers revealed above. The entire floor of the upstairs is outfitted with maple wood floors to complement the views of the nearby park and lake which provides a wallpaper for the house thanks to the floor to ceiling windows and doors. Other materials used in this construction include a concrete pier and beam construction that forms the main elements of the house foundation. The ground floor level is finished in polished concrete and masonry veneer plus a modular brick masonry veneer covering the main tower of the house. Pre-manufactured steel shipping containers are part of the primary structural system and because the walls of the shipping containers were removed to create room for the living areas on the first floor level, columns had to be placed around the house to restore the structural integrity of the shipping containers. The main walls are framed by a 2x6 perimeter stud wall framing with a combination of closed and open cell spray foam insulation for temperature control. For effective temperature control and regulation, double insulated and high performance glazing systems in addition to the porch overhangs help to shed the glazing from direct sunlight for the majority of the day throughout the year. High performance heating and air conditioning systems are also used to supplement the passive design strategies used in the house. For sustainable use of water in the house, low water consumption plumbing fixtures were installed throughout the wet areas. With all this information, we find the kitchen to be our favorite space in this design. The way it's been laid out and the nice provision of lighting above the countertops gives it for us. Let us know your opinion about the house and also what is your favorite space in the design by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. If this is the first time you are watching a video from our YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for your time and see you next week when we feature another luxury shipping container house from around the world. Bye for now.